Today I'm going to show you how to underpaint pastel paper and I'm using UART paper. This is 400 grit and we'll just keep it simple. First thing you do is get all your supplies together. I've uh, just put all this out on my studio floor. Have an old sheet, piece of cardboard, a collection of pastels. I like to use darker colors, bold colors, um, probably more medium than soft so it doesn't fill up too much of the grit. I use mineral spirits, pour it in a little dish here, use a cheapo house brush right here. So the first one I'm going to do, I'm going to do some orange and you just put the color right on there like that and I like to just make random designs. A little more color here like that, darker color. I have no idea what I'm going to be painting on these. I'm just preparing a bunch of different boards. So there's one. Next one I'm going to do, I'm going to do a different color. Some greens. Now I'm not liking this, uh, the design that the cardboard is giving me, so I'm going to just pull that right off and just use the sheet. I don't really like that design. There's kind of a texture there. And so I'm just going to keep doing this with a nice bright color here. Some pink. Like that. Just random colors. Here's a brighter pink. Might be kind of fun. Like that. And my third sheet will be more of blues. This way I've got a variety of of different color underpaintings, a little bit of green there to make a kind of a turquoise. I love turquoise. You just put that on there, move that around, fill that up. Then once you've got your pastel on there, it's just a matter of using your brush, putting it in the mineral spirits, and you don't want to put use too much mineral spirits, just put it on there. What you're doing here is you're just setting that pastel. You're just letting it set and then you'll let it dry. There's a lot of things that you can do at this stage. You can make different textures with the brush like that, all kinds of fun things. I love doing that because when you're painting with pastel you're just going to let all of that be your underpainting and some of it will come through. And you can even go in later after you do that. See how fun that is? Okay, there's one. And I just toss it over on the floor there, rinse out my brush a little bit, and go to the next one. I love these dark colors. They're just so fun to work with. You don't want to get too much of that mineral spirit on there. You can just be real nice and messy with it. And then another thing you can do is you can take a paper towel like this and make texture with it. This is the kind of thing I've been uh, working a little bit with my apple slices, my still lifes. See how great that is? It's a neat texture there. Very simple, very quick. Throw it over there, let it dry. Do the third one. And these are wonderful dark colors. I love using dark colors to start with as you're underpainting because then you can, uh, you've got all that, that wonderful range 
to do. I'm gonna, I think this is the one I use. I'm just gonna go kind of crazy with this like this. And who knows where that's gonna go. There, isn't that fun? So, there you have it. That's the underpainting. Very simple, very quick. And then all you do, let it dry. Usually this dries within about half an hour to an hour. And there, it's ready to be painted on. Have fun.